Okay, so here's the pieces to my base plate for a electric chainsaw. Could work with a gas chainsaw too. But here's the base plate itself. And we're going to attach this piece here. And that will be what holds the chainsaw itself. So, Okay, so what we have here is a two pieces of three quarter inch plywood sandwiched together. I glued the glued them together, put screws in to reinforce it. And I've got two holes here for two carriage bolts that go through this and then into the bar, the chainsaw bar. Now these I drilled these out of my drill press. They're not that difficult. Uh, the 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 steel is not very hard, so it it drills pretty easy. So I should be able to do that with just a regular drill. So anyway, what we got to do is take our two carriage bolts and put them in the uh, plywood block here. And uh, this is what's going to attach to the chainsaw bar. Okay, so and we put a couple washers on and a couple nuts. We're going to tighten that right down on that block. And right here, I really wish I had one of Izzy's uh, wrenches, speed wrenches, through speed wrench thingies. Cause Man, this is taking forever to do with my fingers. All the way there and then tighten them down. Tighten them right down. Okay. Okay. Now, now we need two more nuts. On there. These are what's going to help us adjust it for square. Okay, at this point, we put this bracket onto the two holes that we drilled into the chainsaw bar. Put the bolts in through there. Okay. And we put nuts on the other side. get that done now it's time to put the base plate itself on which is this is just two pieces of three quarter inch uh, plywood six inches by eleven and a half and then I put a couple cleats on the back put a gap for the left a gap for the chainsaw bar to run in and we'll put that on and see how that works okay so we'll Run that through there, and put it on the edge here so that we can attach our screw. Okay. Okay. Good morning. There it is attached. That's really important with these. Now you can see there's not a lot of bar sticking out, but when I made this, I was only cutting six inch thick beams, so I didn't need a lot of depth. You know, eight inches is plenty. Now, if you use this for a sawmill, so like the, the urban sawmill that Izzy Swan made out of wood, it would probably be a good idea to have, you know, this is I think a 14 inch bar, you know, at least a 20 or 24 inch bar on here and uh, um, you know you could go quite long with the bar and you could cut uh, lots of different sizes of beam or you know you could move this a little further up and make it a little more compact I could have went another two inches this way with it but like I said when I made this 
All I needed to do was cut through six inches beams, so that's what I made it for. I wanted to be able to get into here and adjust these nuts easily because that's how you adjust the, uh, uh, make sure that the bar is square to the, to the base plate. So, so we'll put a square on here and see what we've got. See how close we, yeah, we're pretty close right there. Look at that. Pretty close. I'm, I'd say that's right on the money. Um, so, yeah, well, yeah, pretty close. Now you could obviously, you could obviously make this, uh, make this straight across. It doesn't have to be at an angle like that. Um, you could make it, you could, you know, you could make, the, drill, drill the holes exactly in line with each other perpendicular to this edge so that way you had you know you could go straight through the the bar and that might give you a little bit more depth and I don't know so there there's that now one thing I did kind of notice with this it's really not too bad actually is uh, you know there's a little bit of flex but it's really not terrible you know, if it, as, as long as your bar is sharp, that's not going to affect anything. You could inf reinforce it a little bit by running running a piece across here or a gusset down from here to here. And you could have gusset it there. Or, uh, you know, any number of things. But there's a basic concept. It's real simple. Just a few pieces of plywood glued together. Yeah, um, something like that should work on the uh, urban sawmill that Hizzy Swan designed and built last week um, or yesterday actually and just uh, uh, uploaded the video yesterday check out that video it's in the I put a link to Izzy's video in the description um, and uh, take a look at that and see if for yourself if that wouldn't work the bit the advantage of using an electric chainsaw the one that's actually used is is this thing right here this oiler you can put oil in this and so you've got an oiler built right in so I mean if you could imagine you could put that saw you know you could put this right on the mill like this and push it through just like that you know and then you have a built-in oiler one thing I would recommend is getting a ripping chain they're gonna have teeth that are a lot farther apart and have a flatter grind on them um, and they're just specifically designed for ch chainsaw milling and that would work And that would work really good for a, 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 a par parallel to grain cut. This is a this is more for a cross cutting, not ripping. You know, uh, the the uh, the chains that are specifically designed for ripping would be better suited for the sawmill. But that's proof of concept. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Make sure you. Uh, uh, check out Izzy's video in the description, link to the description, and uh, have a great day. See you in the next one.